saying about our society? You know, what is it saying about who we are? So there's just some uh, statistics about our food. Let's just look at chicken. On the average, um, and I think these statistics are from 2003, um, on the average, each U.S. citizen eats about 82 pounds of chicken per year. Um, they consume about 230 eggs per year. Now, this is averages. And all told, there are about 6.7 billion eggs produced in the U.S. each year. Now, some other statistics. We think our food is safe. Um, eggs, everyone's scared of drinking or eating raw eggs. Well, only 0.03% of eggs are actually contaminated with salmonella. So it's a very, very small percentage, but we seem to fear that. On the other hand, 30% of chicken, you know, just chicken that you buy at the store, is contaminated with salmonella. 67% um, of that chicken is contaminated with another bacteria, Campylobacter. Um, and I'm not sure I'm saying that right. You can ask a nursing student if I am. Um, but our chicken is not very safe. Now our beef. On average, we eat about 64 pounds of beef per U.S. citizen per year. Now in the 1970s, those numbers were reversed from chicken and beef. Um, we used to consume 80 pounds of beef, beef in the 1970s. And so um, this is a number from 2003. Um, all told, 28 billion pounds of beef is consumed in the United States each year. And with our ground beef, 75.3% of it, you know, ground beef that you just buy at the store, 75% is contaminated with coliform or the shit from the stomach when they rip the, the cow open. 32.5% um, is contaminated with E. coli, and 8% is contaminated with a Shinga toxin-producing type of E. coli. So make sure that you cook your beef, um, and maybe wash it, too, before you eat it. Now, the reasons that our food is contaminated like this um, is because of the factory type farming that we have um, put into place in the United States here. Uh, we have huge, huge feedlots where thousands upon thousands of cows are all stuck together um, and cows don't like to um, stand in their own feces. Cows like to move around, they'll do their business and then move away from where they've done their business. But in these feedlots, they can't do that. And um, I can't remember the statistics right now, but a huge, huge amount of feces is gathered each day um, on the order of magnitude of uh, millions of pounds of feces from these feedlots uh, just being collected, and they put them into these cesspools off to the side where the cows are feeding. Um, also, when you go into these slaughterhouses, and we'll actually be looking at a factory um, a little bit later. When you go into these slaughterhouses, uh, the, the sanitary conditions, they're factories. I mean, if you've ever been to a factory, they're dirty. And so that's what you see when you're processing these cows as you move really, really fast through the, the processing. Um, and you read a little bit about that in Fast Food Nation. Now, what I'm going to be showing you here um, I wanted to show you where our food comes from. Now, I tried and tried to find a um, slaughterhouse for chickens that wasn't a polemic, that didn't have a bias to it. Um, every video that I found had a bias to it where they were saying that chickens were being abused. Um, and I didn't want to you know, have a, a political statement up here. So what I've done is I've actually found a video on YouTube where um, a, an American boy has gone to another country and he's being taught how to slaughter a chicken. And so we'll go ahead and watch that. Yay, Will's gonna kill a chicken. I'm gonna videotape it and send it to his mom. Right here? Mm -hmm. So what do I do? Lay it down? Like this one? Okay. Hold on. You have to tell this now first. Okay. Okay. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. You have to do like this. Okay. You have to kneel. Yeah. Kneel. Yeah. This one with the other, the neck is the other. And then you just touch the finger of the neck. 
Yeah? Yeah, then we just... Just cut. As fast as possible. As fast as you just saw it away? <laughs> yeah. All right. You make a lot of noise? Noise. Watch out, baby. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> now? Oh, but it's all right. Now we can shake our money. Take away? Oh, sorry. The bird doesn't know it's over. It's still alive. We saw the chicken that it's dead. Hey, chicken, you're dead. Stop, Stop flying. That's the fastest horse now. Yeah, well. And this happens in these factory farms. Thousands of thousands of times per minute. Um, in fact, the way that it usually happens is the chickens um, are alive and they string them upside down and they're put into these um, just these their feet are put into these cages and they're hung upside down. Um, they're moved along a conveyor belt uh, where they are passed alongside a rotating knife. Their heads are slightly cut off. They're allowed to bleed to death. And then uh, they're put into either a vat of chemicals or into a vat that is of superheated water around 150 degrees. They're rotated in that chemical or in the, the water uh, for some time. And then what this is doing is it is loosening up the feathers. Um, the next thing that happens is they're usually put into what looks like a washing machine. Um, but really, it's just the washing machine is full of these rubber tubes inside that are just sticking out. And what it is is they spin the chicken through these rubber tubes, and the rubber tubes pull off and defeather the chicken. Um, and it is done very, very efficiently, and so that they can get all of these chickens um, uh, through and onto our, uh, onto our plate or into our chicken McNuggets.